Hi there. If you're watching this video, it means that you have been redirected to this video by our tech support team. In this video, we'll be discussing the two ways to get your Kyocera device registered with Kyocera Fleet Services. This is our automatic toner and other supplies fulfillment software and is also our automated billing software. I'm going to be going through two different ways to register a machine to KFS. The first is going to be through the web interface of the copier. The second is going to be through the touchscreen interface of the copier. Now, if you run into any issues or any snags whatsoever, please feel free to reach out to your Kyocera service provider, which in this case is likely Boston Document Systems, and we will be more than happy to assist you in getting your device back up and registering if it has gone down, or registering in the first place if it has not been set up. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to open up a web browser. If you do not know the IP address of your copier, please feel free to watch our video on finding the IP address of your Kyocera Task Alpha MFP. Once I input the IP address of the copier, it will take me to the command center Rx from any web browser. Once here, I need to log in as an administrative user. In order to do that, on the left-hand side here, I will enter the username and password for the Kyocera. The default username and password for these devices, and likely yours as well, is admin with a capital A for both the username and password. Please note that the password field is case sensitive and you do need the capital A there. Once you are logged in as an administrator, you're going to go to management settings. Then you will go to remote services. Remote services will be off by default. Turn it on and then click submit. We wanna to go to server settings and select settings. In here, there are two primary fields that we need to fill out. The first is the URL. The URL is https colon forward slash forward slash rfs dash us dot kiosera dot biz. Once that has been input, we need to enter our access code. This will have been provided to you by the technical support rep that you have been working with. It is an eight digit code of random alphanumeric characters and it's usually just easier to copy and paste that into the access code field. Once you have done so, please click Submit. You will know that your device is registered if the Server Settings Settings button is grayed out and unable to be clicked. At this point, feel free to reach back out to the technical support representative you've been working with at Boston Document Systems and let them know that your device is ready to be managed by Kyocera Fleet Services. Next, we're going to be discussing how to register a device from the touch screen panel of the copier. Once you are standing in front of your copier, please follow these steps in order to set up your device with Kyocera Fleet Services from the touch screen interface of your copier you're gonna to wanna to access the system menu. Once you're in here, you're going to tab down to the second page, the button you're looking for, and obviously its location might be a little different based on the machine that you're using, but we are looking for a system slash network button. Once I hit this, it'll request a password. It is looking for the exact same password that you saw and used in the early part of this video on accessing the web user interface of the copier, which in this case is admin admin with a capital A for both. Once you are logged in, the option that we are looking for is going to be hidden underneath the numeric keypad, and we are looking for the remote services settings. We'll select next. Then we're looking for remote services, which we need to change from off to on. So you'll turn those on. Now, just like on the web user interface, we're looking for server settings. We'll hit next. Now we need to enter two bits of information, the URL and the access code. For the URL, we want https colon forward slash forward slash rfs dash us dot kiosera dot biz. Select OK. Next, we would like to enter the eight digit access code that was provided to us by the technical service rep. This needs to be entered exactly as it was given to you. It is case sensitive. Once you enter the last and eighth character, the keyboard should gray out, indicating that you have entered a full code. Select OK, and then in the bottom, hit register. We do want to continue to have the settings registered. It may spin for up to, it may process for up to a minute or two, but eventually it will say that it has been completed and that it will say it has been registered to your group name. You'll select OK. 
And at this point, you will see that the remote services and server settings options are both grayed out. At this point, please reach out to your technical service rep at Boston Document Systems uh, and let them know that your device is ready to be managed by Kyocera Fleet Services. I want to thank you for joining me on this video today. My name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at BDS. Thank you for joining me and have a great day.